uh, Nick, you're back from the project. I hear you're heading back up soon. Um, uh, how's it been up there in the past couple of weeks? Well, uh, it's been a one of a kind year because yeah. again, we're we're always getting to drill new things because we've never been drilling a Robert on the project. But uh, you know, the Pete's area, which we put out news on, has really gone above my my expectations mm-hmm. with uh, the amount of sulfide we've been able to intersect. And I'm I'm actually spending more. I get, I got to spend about ten days actually in the field, mm-hmm. uh, mapping with a con, with a mapping consultant that we had hired on, just trying to understand better how these beds are bending and buckling. Yeah. And it's just not very often that the you know CEO of the company gets to spend that much time in the field. But yeah, you know, we're well staffed this year, so yeah. I've been able to do so. And now I'm actually heading up again now tomorrow evening to hopefully be able to spend a bit more time in the field as well. And mm-hmm. and you know it's it's very important to be able to map these things and also know the te- different textures and I've spent a lot of time with these rocks now over the last mm-hmm. five, six years. So I'm starting to see how the, the different grades work with different textures and the proximity to the source versus more distal. So it's yeah. been instrumental in helping my geological understanding, which you know is the fundamental behind every, all the, the success we're having. Yeah, and going back to that news release on the Pete's discovery, so what's the significance of that in terms of its location to the other targets on the on the property? Yeah, so I mean, our, our tactic this, this year was to you know, spend as little amount of money trying to hit as many carbonate replacement, massive sulfide occurrences as we can over a large area, right? Mm-hmm. So we're drilling, I think our maximum depth hole was uh, around 250 meters, okay. but the average um, depth of intersection of mineralization is anywhere between, you know, 20 meters and around 80. So, you know, that that's considered near or at surface. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we can see several occurrences that are actually outcropping in the limestone surface. And then there's a little bit of overburden there in the area, a couple meters. And then we're drilling beneath it with a 100 meter step out. And, you know, I think I think it was 12 or 15 holes that we hit massive sulfide. Uh, mm-hmm. And so, some of them very significant, such as a 6.4 meter intercept that we had. The, the textures vary uh, in, in, in each intercept. Um, some are the same, but, you know, we hit, is about 33 meters of, of massive sulfide, semi-massive massive sulfide with uh, 1,500 meters of drilling. Okay. And, you know, we're starting to show some continuity here. And so we proved our point, checked all the boxes at, at Pete's, yep. and then we uh, packed up, and then we're going to try to hit as many other targets as we can, Grizzly, Jackie, and, and Galley, which is mm-hmm. our, our newest occurrence. Which and I'm and Galley, you were just showing me some images, actually, and we'll throw those up on the screen there, but maybe you can talk a little bit about that. Well, Ga- Galley is one that I have the least amount of field experience with, okay. and uh, but I, had, I was able to visit it um, there when I was up last, and I'll, I'm going to go up again. And we're just trying to make sure our mapping and our structural measurements are correct there. But there's been some highly elevated grab samples there, so similar to other places, obviously, but but more similar textures to what we saw in our whole 011 at Grizzly. Mm-hmm. And uh, the pictures I showed you was just uh, what we call the barbecue rock. So we we have, we have mineralization in our rocks, and there's some calcium carbonate that's intermingled with our, our zinc, lead, and silver. <clears throat> and that picture I showed you was you know, of a, of a massive sulfide occurrence, and it, it's under UV light, and it's glowing, you know, very, very orange, yeah. bright red, like the brightest we've seen. Yeah. So that indicates that, you know, you're the closest to the sulfide, but okay. obviously there's sulfide in the sample. Yeah. So you, you know, or, you know, you already answered your question that, that there's sulfide there. But yeah, that's, that stuff is the, the hottest rock that we've seen yet um, mm-hmm. visually. And we do have grab samples there, of course, which we've released over the past there over a, you know, a hundred meter area there. So mm-hmm. that one's going to be really interesting too. But when you're again, when you're drilling stuff for the first time, you just look, you you don't really know what you're going to encounter. Yeah. And sometimes your hopes are lower at, at at some targets, and then you drill them, and then they become higher, and then vice versa. You know, you you see a lot of surface and. And then you drill down, and maybe you don't hit it the right way. Sure. And you know they're not easy exploration targets. Yeah. But, but the Pete's one seems like it has some some potential here, and so I know you rush the assays. What can we expect in terms of timing on those? So generally, the lab tells you from the day that you rush them, it's about a month. Okay. That's what you get. So we're hoping some less than a month. Mm-hmm. And the day that we released our news was when all the samples 
arrived at the lab. Okay, so, so yeah. August 17th, this is the month, so maybe hopefully earlier than that. We're, we're hoping earlier than that, and, you know, obviously then once we receive all the data, then we have to compile it and put it into a, yeah. you know, a readable right. matter, something you can digest, and then, uh, so that, that usually takes, obviously, a few days, a couple, sure. couple drafts back and forth. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's very visually beautiful stuff. And, and again, we do have grab samples and channel samples in the area, too. Something to kind of to gauge your mind on. Mm-hmm, so. mm-hmm. And then, so you say you're going back up to the property yes. this week, tomorrow. And uh, you've been up there lots this year. Maybe, what are you seeing out there that, that maybe you can talk about that uh, you just haven't seen in the previous years? Well, I, I've had more time to spend at places such as Pete's. Yeah. I've seen more drill core. I've seen more textures. I've seen more... Uh, grab samples that have assays and it's just helping me gauge what kind of you know where to focus on you know because we're trying to drill the stuff that has the highest grades mm-hmm. but you you never really know obviously until you get the assays back so yeah. it's all about looking at the core and just seeing the different crystal shapes and sizes especially with our, our galena because mm-hmm. we have a, a couple different uh, minerals that are yeah, producing our silver, or the silver's tied up with mm-hmm. hesite and argentiferous uh, galena. So you can you can start to gain an understanding once you look at these under just like a regular hand lens or yeah. stereo microscope. You can start to see how the, the edges of the crystals are bent in areas or distorted, okay. and it generally that stuff carries more silver. But again, we're at the be- we're still at the very beginning here. We we've only got you know sixteen hundred meters drilled, so we're we're just. Uh, just approaching halfway through our our drilling campaign and you know we still got three targets you know awesome target then you know that we're going to do this year mm-hmm. and then obviously additionally to that there's so many more but you know we have three more high priority targets and we're drilling short holes and you know because we're lucky enough to have everything at service yeah. so it's kind of like what ha- what has happened you know 300 years ago down in chihuahua mexico you know yeah. we're kind of experiencing a modern day CRD discovery here where we're finding things that surface and we're, we're going to try to follow into depth and if history repeats itself we can hopefully continue to intercept sulfide and, and hopefully we'll continue to produce some good grades. Yeah well we'll be watching for these assays in the next coming weeks here and then obviously the rest of the targets are also super exciting there's tons to go so thanks for coming in and giving the update and we'll talk soon. Perfect I'll talk to you later. Thanks sir.